Formula One driver Robert Kubica has undergone surgery after a high-speed crash in Italy in the Ronde di Andorra rally. I called it straight away, and it was an hour after, and they said it was. We're not very much worried about his hand; is is the his life. When the car went off the road and hit a church wall, it took two hours for the Formula One driver to be free. It will take time, and uh, this next. Two or three months, it will be hard. The six-year-old suffered serious injuries to his right hand, arm and leg. I visited him a few weeks ago. He was doing pretty well, even though considering the accident. The surgeons are trying to repair the driver's right hand. It will be a while before he will be uh, fully, fully fit again. fears his hand would be amputated, but according to his surgeon, Kubica is likely to regain full use, but it could take up to a year. We all miss him here because uh, he was, you know, a good guy and a very talented driver. It's a sad prelude to the first race. He is well, actually. Uh, the surgeries went very well. It was long, but uh, it went well, and uh, he started the rehabilitation. Uh, he moved. Uh, he's now moving out of his room, and, uh, and uh, he is definitely pushing very hard to to get back. People ask me, but then. Oh, it's stupid to do rally and so on. It's the same with me doing the go-kart. I mean, you could have a brake failure and, and hurt yourself as well. And uh, racing drivers, we, we always, I mean, like the example that, that I gave where the kids say, you know, you, you, you need that adrenaline. You, you cannot stop. I mean, it, it's almost like the adrenaline comes up, 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 and you top up. And then you, you don't know what to do anymore. You become a bit of a crazy situation. You need to, to act and... Um, it was very unfortunate. Um, so uh, we miss him here, and um, I hope to, to have him um, sometime during the season. It's too early, frankly. And, uh, I don't want to give uh, to give uh, wrong hopes, you know, to, to anybody. You know, but uh, I, I we have discussed this already between us, and um, I think uh, reasonably, let's say before the end of the year, yes, he could be back in, uh, behind the steering wheel.